Greetings, and welcome back to the channel. In our first Spotlight episode, we'll briefly step away from the focus on science fiction to examine the intersection between history and cinema. Join me as we delve into the effects of the First World War on the film industry. We'll explore the economic impact the war had on a relatively new industry, how the government used cinema for their own benefit, as well as new narrative techniques and technological advancements made at the time. From 1914 to 1918, society witnessed a conflict that would forever shape the global landscape. During those years, empires fell, new borders were drawn, ideologies clashed, and new nations were created. The era was characterized by the introduction of devastating evolving technologies like aerial and submarine warfare alongside the use of chemical weapons. The methodologies of attrition to win the war and settling into trench warfare also came to define the period. The battles finally came to an end in 1918 and the global landscape was forever changed. At that moment, there was a prevailing sentiment that this conflict would be conclusive and the war to end all wars. Society grappled with the staggering loss of life, entire generations of men gone, the trauma of war, and the challenge of rebuilding. Amidst this backdrop, the film industry emerged to capture the evolving narratives of a changed world. The war and its aftermath ravaged economies, leaving many struggling to rebuild. The disruption of trade routes and the redirection of resources towards the war effort led to scarcity of essential commodities. Many, including the growing film industry, had to deal with the consequences of these disruptions. Disruption of trade routes, scarcity of film stock, cameras, and essential equipment became a widespread issue, necessitating filmmakers and studios to adjust their methods and come up with creative solutions. The use of practical effects and miniatures became more prevalent in this time, as seen in films like The Lost World of 1925, directed by Harry O. Hoyt. Vital resources such as metals, rubber, and chemicals were diverted to supply military operations. Camera manufacturers halted production to support military production. The film industry faced the challenges of obtaining celluloid, a crucial component of film stock, because it was needed for military necessities like gun stocks and airplane parts. Filmmakers took this opportunity to change their way of telling stories and creating new equipment, editing techniques, and storytelling structures. Some filmmakers prioritized character-driven narratives over lavish productions. This was the time of Charlie Chaplin and The Kid, but also symbolic creations of German Expressionism and the beginnings of documentary features like Nanook of the North. While some would explore more realistic, symbolic, or psychological stories, studios also recognized the need for stories that offered respite from the grim realities of the world. The demand for cinematic escapism led to the creation of films that transported audiences to fantastical realms. Douglas Fairbanks' swashbuckling adventures like The Mark of Zorro from 1920 offered audiences a thrilling escape from the hardships of the time. These films provided a cathartic experience, allowing viewers to temporarily transcend their own challenges through the magic of cinema. As governments sought to influence public opinion and rally support for the war effort, the film industry became a powerful tool of propaganda and recruitment. Filmmakers were enlisted to craft narratives that resonated with the nationalistic fervor, and encouraged citizens to take up arms. This intersection of film and politics led to a new role of cinema in society, turning cinema into a platform to instill values of patriotism, sacrifice, and loyalty. Some examples of how governments recognized the power of film narratives and used them to influence perceptions of war include The Battle of the Somme from 1916, a British documentary, which aimed to evoke national pride and support for the war effort. The Kaiser, The Beast of Berlin, 1918. This American film was directed by Rupert Julian and depicted Kaiser Wilhelm II of Germany as a ruthless and evil figure responsible for the war's devastation. The film aimed to vilify the German leadership, portraying them as warmongers and aggressors. Newsreels, short films showing current events, 
were a common way of disseminating propaganda during the war. These newsreels often showcased military successes, portrayed the enemy in a negative light, and celebrated the bravery of soldiers. In Germany, Dr. Hart's diary from 1917, about a physician who documents his experiences in a diary. As the war progresses, Dr. Hart witnesses the devastating impact of the conflict on both soldiers and civilians. Jan Vermeulen, the Miller of Flanders from 1914, tells the story of a miller who becomes embroiled in a conflict with occupying German forces during the war and explores themes of resistance, patriotism, and the challenges faced by the ordinary people caught during the conflict. Governments also exercised control of the content of films to ensure they aligned with official narratives. Censorship boards were established to review and edit films for sensitive content that could potentially harm morale or reveal military strategies. The war accelerated technological innovation in several ways. Cameras that documented the conflict on the front lines brought about advancements in cinematography and paved the way for new storytelling methods. Advances in optics, cameras, and film processing techniques used for military purposes later found their way into civilian life. This led to the improvement of equipment and techniques, optics and lens technology. This development of advanced optics for military purposes such as binoculars and periscopes led to improvements in lens technology. Aerial Photography Aerial reconnaissance during the war spurred the advancement of aerial photography techniques. Cameras mounted on aircraft were used for reconnaissance and mapping purposes. These developments later influenced the use of aerial shots in filmmaking, adding new perspectives to cinematic storytelling. Trench Cameras the necessity of capturing images from the trenches led to the creation of specialized trench cameras. Used by soldiers, these cameras were compact, portable, and designed to withstand the rigors of combat conditions. Similar principles influenced the development of more compact and mobile film cameras for civilian use. Film Processing Techniques The war's demand for rapid and accurate processing of reconnaissance images led to advancements in film development and processing techniques. These techniques found their way into the civilian film industry, leading to improvements in the speed and quality of film processing. Themes of camaraderie, sacrifice, and the cost of conflict resonated with society. Though there was a need for escapist entertainment after the war, and in the years that followed, Storytellers also explored more gritty and harrowing events and how it changed society. These themes can be seen in films such as Jacuzzi from 1919, The Big Parade from 1925, Wings from 1927, All Quiet on the Western Front from 1930, A Farewell to Arms in 1932, and The Grand Illusion from 1937 as well as the countless films made in the decades after the war ended. Themes explored in these films include war realism. Before the war, many films focused on romanticized and escapist themes. However, the brutal realities of the war prompted a shift towards depicting the harshness and brutality of conflict. Anti-war sentiments. The horrors of the war led to the emergence of anti-war sentiments in film, Filmmakers sought to highlight the futility and destructiveness of war, often conveying messages of pacifism and the need for diplomacy. Psychological Exploration The psychological trauma experienced by soldiers on the front lines became a significant theme in post-war films. Return to Normalcy Post-war films often depicted characters attempting to return to normalcy after the trauma of war. Critique of Authority the war's toll on individuals and societies led to a questioning of authority and institutions. National Identity The war experience also influenced how national identity was portrayed in films. Films celebrated patriotic sentiments and the sacrifices of soldiers, but they also questioned the concept of blind nationalism and explored the complexities of identity in a globalized world. The devastation of the First World War 
left Germany in a state of disillusionment and upheaval. Society grappled with the economic hardships, political instability, and sense of alienation. Artists felt compelled to break free from established artistic conventions that they believed had failed to capture the true essence of this era. German Expressionism, a distinct and influential artistic movement, emerged as a response to the aftermath of the war in Germany. This movement is found across various art forms, including painting, literature, theater, and film. In the world of film, Expressionism captured the psychological and emotional aspects of the post-war atmosphere. Filmmakers like Robert Wien, Fritz Lang, and F.W. Murnau incorporated Expressionist principles into their work, resulting in visually distinctive films characterized by distorted sets, stark contrast, and symbolic imagery. This visual technique aimed to evoke intense emotions and create a dreamlike, otherworldly atmosphere that resonated with the societal dislocation caused by the war. German Expressionist films often depicted characters struggling against oppressive forces or navigating distorted realities, reflecting in the broader sense of alienation and turmoil experienced by the German population. The genre's experience was also shaped by the scarcity of resources during and after the war, which led to creative solutions such as innovative set designs and lighting techniques. Prominent examples of the movement are Der Gollum from 1920, The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari from 1920, Nosferatu from 1922, The Last Laugh, 1924, and Faust from 1926. The aftermath of the Russian Revolution of 1917 had a profound impact on Soviet filmmaking during the 1920s. This transformative period saw filmmakers recognizing cinema's potential as a tool for ideological dissemination and political engagement. The upheaval led to a desire for cultural renewal and filmmakers embraced cinema to propagate revolutionary ideals, foster class consciousness, and rally support for the new communist government. This ideological drive gave rise to a distinct Soviet cinematic movement that blended artistic experimentation with political messaging. The economic strains of this time spurred innovation in Soviet filmmaking. The scarcity of resources compelled filmmakers to experiment with innovative techniques, resulting in groundbreaking methods such as montage editing. Filmmakers like Sergei Eisenstein merged avant-garde aesthetics with revolutionary themes in films like Battleship Potemkin and October, Ten Days That Shook the World. This period marked the convergence of art and politics, producing a cinematic legacy that not only shaped Soviet society, but also left an enduring influence on global filmmaking, reaffirming cinema's role as a medium for both artistic expression and political change. The First World War had a significant impact on the science fiction film genre, influencing its themes, narratives, and visual aesthetics. The war's technological advancements, societal changes, and widespread trauma all contributed to shaping science fiction films during and after the conflict. Here are some examples of how the war affected the genre. Technological optimism and pessimism. The war showcased both the remarkable advancements and devastating consequences of technology. This duality influenced science fiction films. Some films embraced a sense of technological optimism, envisioning a future where technology could bring progress and harmony, while others took a more pessimistic view, depicting the potential dangers and ethical dilemmas of unchecked scientific progress. This can be seen in remakes like 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea from 1916 and the remake of A Message from Mars from 1921. Dystopian themes. The horrors of the war and the widespread destruction it caused influenced the emergence of dystopian themes in science fiction films. Films like Metropolis, directed by Fritz Lang, depicted futuristic worlds marked by social inequality, oppression, and dehumanization. 
these dystopian narratives reflected the fears and anxieties of a society scarred by the war, escapism, and fantasy. The trauma of the war led to a desire for escapism and science fiction offered a way to transport audiences to fantastical realms far removed from the harsh realities of the world. Films like The Lost World from 1925, directed by Harry O. Hoyt, provided audiences with imaginative adventures and a temporary escape from the war's aftermath. Influence on Alien Invasions The concept of alien invasions in science fiction film can be linked to the collective fears generated by the war. The war's unprecedented scale and destruction made people consider the possibility of a powerful external force wreaking havoc on humanity. In the wake of the cataclysmic event that was the First World War, the film industry underwent profound transformation that reverberated through its narratives, technology, and its role in society. The war's economic impact, coupled with the need for propaganda and recruitment tools, shifted cinema's purpose from mere entertainment to a vital instrument of shaping public opinion and galvanizing nations. The First World War's imprint on the film industry remains indelible, shaping its course in unseen ways. From propaganda to technological advancements, from shifts in themes to innovative narrative techniques, the industry's evolution mirrored the transformative period that was the early 20th century. Thank you for joining me in this first Spotlight episode. I will add further side stories about the intersection of film, society, and history as we progress through the history of science fiction film. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for future videos about the history of science fiction cinema.